Hello everyone, welcome to English with Tom for the third time. Favourite probably London, but I don't know if that's being biased because that's, that's obviously where I'm from. Uh, the worst one is, I have a few friends from there so it's bad to say, but Birmingham probably isn't the best accent for me. Um, but they're all very different to be fair, like M Mancunian from Manchester, Birmingham, these Brummies and Scousers are also, in terms of understanding a Scouser is the hardest thing for, for me to understand, but I think Birmingham's the worst. A bevy, I don't know, but it might be Cockney, a bevy to me is a drink, all right? And Scousers are very good at drinking. I have some Scouser friends, that's quite a big party city. Um, yeah, bevy is, is, is good one. Not in a Scouse accent. <laughs> You'd just say, you'd be like, oh, do you want to go and meet up for a bevy? We'll go and have a drink. Like, it's, it's pretty simple. It just replaces drink or um, yeah, a beer. Could be. A bevy is not a beer. It's not a vodka or a apple juice. It's, it's just a general term for... It's an alcoholic drink, really. Let's go for a bevy. Geordie. Geordie. Netty. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. Toilet, yeah? yeah. Yeah, Geordie, I, I don't know many Geordies, um, I used to play with one, but yeah, I'm not so good at the Geordie slang, they're, um, they're very difficult to understand actually, I didn't say Geordies, but they're very difficult for me to understand as well, uh, that's the type of um, speech that I have to really concentrate to, to understand them, they're, they're difficult, difficult, netty, scouse, a gobshite, Excuse a cop shite is like someone that talks a lot, like talks a lot of rubbish, talking for a long time, making no sense, something like that. They are definitely a gobshite, for sure. Gobshite. Gobshite. <laughs> I like this game. Cotney. Apples and pears. This is, is um, yeah, Cotney rhyming slang. Cotney is a London based slang, like real central London, different areas. Uh, you wouldn't find many people talking like this, it'd have to be a real broad Londoner, like if you go to London, like a black cab driver, for example, would use Cockney slang. Um, you know, you'd be, you'd ask, oh, can I use your toilet please? And, and if it's upstairs, they say yes, yeah, uh, up the apple and pears, up the stairs. Brummy, Birmingham. Cob. Yeah. Uh, like a bread roll? Yep, yeah, so Brummy Cobb is uh, similar actually, my, um, my mum and my family are from Nottingham um, and that is also what my mum would call a roll, um, bread roll for lunch, um, Cobb, Geordie, <coughs> let's go and get some scran, scran is food, um, not really specific to any type of food, uh, breakfast, lunch or dinner, um, but yeah. Let's go and grab a bite of scran. Manchester, uh, Mancunians, these are called um, tea, um, as in tea is in dinner, like to eat. Uh, yeah, again, similar. I think it's more of a, like a, a Midlands kind of thing where you, where you have your Birmingham, your Manchester, Nottingham, um, the middle of England. They, they're all quite similar because this is what my mum would also say, uh, let's have some tea which you would probably think it's spelled T-E-A, you would probably think is a cup of tea, like harbata, but um, yeah, it's like a, like dinner, six o'clock, something like that. Scottish. Reeking. Reeking is smelling. Smell, uh, I've obviously spent a lot of time up in Scotland and would know some of their slang. Yeah, you'd, reeking is, like, you stink, like, you reek, is what you would say to somebody. But I wouldn't say it's too bad, particularly the younger generation, I think, is, is good. Um, the only time myself and my family have had problems is more with an old, the older generation, um, just not understanding as much, or, I don't know if it's a confidence thing, I think it probably is, because I'm the same with Polish, like, I, I, I'll speak Polish on the pitch, I'll, I'll have a laugh in the change room with the boys, I'll speak a bit of Polish in there, but it's more of a confidence thing to me of, of not being afraid to make mistakes and stuff like that. And I feel like the younger generation of Polish people are more inclined to, to have the confidence to do so. So it's, yeah, it, it can vary, but it's, it's more often than not is very good. And the first thing people will say to me as well is, oh, 
I'll ask, I'll say, oh, like, I'm sorry, do you speak English? And I'll say, oh, yeah, not very well, but I, I can understand a little. But then after five minutes of talking to them, they actually speak really good. So it's more of a confidence thing to me. Talk, talk, talk and talk is, is the best way I could, I could tell you to learn. I, uh, for me, trying to pick up Polish is, is talking is the best way. I did lessons when I was in Wrocław. Um, and I found that just talking to people in the change room again, being, not being afraid to make mistakes, asking questions. Um, I don't know if you have English friends or probably a good way is watching television. Um, like we say, it is more American on television, but it still gives you the general gist. You still um, would, would pick up the, the English words from there. So 100% the best way. Everyone's different. Some people would like to write it and learn that way, I understand. But I, my best way of learning is, is definitely from talking. In sports, I'd say, yeah, it is. Look, I, I'm very lucky. I, I consider myself very lazy. English people are very lazy as well because we know we can go anywhere and more often than not, there'll be somebody that will speak a little bit of English. Uh, but in terms of sports, look, you, you travel, me being a, a good example, you travel everywhere um, and more often than not, the one, the one language that everybody will, will have in common is English. Um, so... You know, if you want to be a footballer playing in Poland in extra class and, and you want to try and play at the top level of football, for example, arguably is England. Um, and I think, you know, you, you, it's good to have a little bit of the, the language in your locker and be able to have a chat to somebody like Jekyll now going to Italy, um, speaking bits of English. He, he learned some English last season as well. And the difference from him from when I first came to when he left was, was massive. So... Um, he obviously underst understood the importance of it as well.